I'm Juliana Rotich of Brick. Juliana, Brick has got a new educational device out. In fact, it's a whole package. Describe to me what it is. So the Brick Keo Kit is a holistic solution contained in a ruggedized plastic uh, box. Yeah. Um, it contains 40 tablets, a brick, and a brick pie that acts as a micro server and also contains uh, a Wi-Fi extender and antenna. And the idea behind the Brick Keo Kit is that it is a, a full solution to turn any classroom into a digital classroom by providing connectivity, content, and computing. And how much does that cost a school? It costs 5,000 US dollars for one kit. Um, but with a partnership with Chase Bank, we've uh, created a solution where a head teacher or headmaster or an administrator can pay um, inst on it, using installments uh, over 12 months. And you've got content on the system, haven't you? Could give me some idea of the sort of content you've got. Absolutely. So we've got some really great content partners. Uh, one of those content partners is uh, No Zone. Uh, of Medii, and they have really um, engaging videos that uh, the children can um, listen through and uh, learn with. Uh, the other content partner is eLimu that makes localized content um, for uh, teaching um, grade one through three, and then also Pearson Education is another partner for the educational content side. And this is in primary schools? Yes, the idea is the first kit, uh, the, the one that we launched, uh, has content for primary school. However, um, as we grow, we will definitely look at extending um, the content available for other grades. And how is it used in schools? We were talking earlier about the school you worked with prior to the launch. Yeah. The way the Brick Keo kit is used in schools is not as a replacement for a teacher. It is a co it's complementary to the education uh, that the the children are receiving from their instructors. Um, in this particular uh, school that we work with at Lighthouse Grace Academy, the in the teacher is really fantastic at introducing the technology, um, getting the children to systematically pick up the tablet put on the headphones, even putting on the headphones is an opportunity mm. for the children to learn as she shows them this is a right ear, mm. this is the left ear, show me your right ear, mm. good girl, good boy, you've done a good job mm. and then they put that on and um, she shows them how to turn, the, turn on the tablet, how to put the headphone into the tablet and takes them through three options. Uh, on When the child turns on the screen, they see three options, to learn, to play, and to grow. And the teacher takes them through whichever lesson they want to go through that day. So um, the Brick Keo Kit is a com it's complementary, and it's a way of um, delivering digital content to children and um, to help them learn and to help them uh, grow. You launched at the end of September, but how many of these um, kits have you sold so far? We've got pre-orders for more than 40 kits. And what's the ambition? Are you just here in Kenya or will it be more widely distributed? The ambition is to first uh, provide the solution here in Kenya um, for Kenyan schools. However, uh, this is a company that has Eric Hersman, mm. uh, whom, as you know, we we act local, but we're always thinking global. And it's always about scaling um, from from a point of strength and a point of knowledge. So for example, uh, the ethos of the company is one of testing mm. uh, and learning from constraints and innovating from constraints. And once you figure that out from one emerging market, um, it, it's conceivable then mm. for you to scale into other emerging markets because you've embedded those lessons in the design, in the engineering, in how the product works. So uh, our ambitions are definitely Africa-wide. Mm. Uh, when we look at the addressable market, there are currently about 400 million African um, school-going children. The, that is expected to rise to about 800 million by 2050. 
and uh, as many African countries and African leaders are looking at the increasing role of technology and connectivity in various facets of um, development from um, infrastructure, mm. how important that is for better running of the, the uh, any country mm. to service provision. For example, mm. the Huduma centers that we've heard of in Kenya. So the role of technology is well, really, really... you can really get a driving license in 15 minutes. Absolutely. Several you, hours. Yeah, you can get yeah. uh, your driver's license in no time. Yeah. And technology can help to make things more efficient. Now the question is, for for governments that are interested in the role of technology, particularly content, um, connectivity, and computing, what can that do for education? What can that do for equitable access to education? We believe that we want to partner with them to come up with a solution that is context specific, uh, that truly helps to increase the uh, the the literally uh, the, the the skills of uh, the next generation of Ken Kenyans and Africans.